what used to be done with a satellite the size of a school bus, you can now get into a tiny little package the size of a CubeSat, which is, uh, you know, like a Kleenex box in size. In the CubeQuest challenge, we're challenging our competitors to take their CubeSat into deep space where no CubeSat has gone before. And that means there's all kinds of new challenges that they've got to solve. They've got to be able to do navigation without GPS, without the Earth's magnetic field. To get into a lunar orbit, you know, there's no compass, there's no, uh, you can't just uh, use a GPS. Almost has to be autonomous. And so um, our developers are having to do subsystems that are going to work in ways that the CubeSats to date haven't. That's why you see the emerging technologies coming out of the CubeQuest challenge. There's a couple of teams that have really unique propulsion technologies. One is uh, an electric propulsion technology, an ion propulsion technology, where the fuel is uh, solid iodine. We've never done that before. So with electric propulsion, you get really good gas mileage. So for a little bit of fuel, you can go a long way, or we call delta V, change in velocity. Um, all, another team has uh, water-based propulsion the technology, electrolyzing. electrolyzing the water to separate it into hydrogen and oxygen, and then use that as the propellant. And that is also incredibly innovative and novel. Once they are launched and deployed into deep space, then um, the operations parts begin. And that's not to be overlooked, uh, the complexity of that. NASA has teams of people that operate spacecraft in deep space. We um, are awarding prizes for fastest burst data rate, largest data volume downlinked in a 28-day window. That whole maker, and manufacturing, miniaturization, commoditization, reduction of cost has really enabled kind of this citizen science and engineering. And what it, what it gives us is a more diverse set of participants contributing to NASA and the NASA mission, and a whole new set of innovative ideas that come through those diverse sets of participants.